In this video, we are going to learn how to create post translations in bulk, using WPML and WP Sheet Editor post types. Unlike the normal translation method with WPML alone, WP Sheet Editor increases your productivity by allowing you to easily create translations, and then edit them using an intuitive spreadsheet within WordPress. You can read our written guide and purchase WP Sheet Editor post types, by following the links in the description of this video. As you will notice, the content shown in the spreadsheet will depend on the WPML language you select in the WP Admin bar. For example, if we select English, which is our main language, the spreadsheet will show all the posts in English only. But if we select Spanish, the spreadsheet will show the posts that have been translated into Spanish, or show no posts at all, in case we have not translated any posts yet. In this case, we have translated three posts only into Spanish. The same thing happens if we open the spreadsheet in Italian. Again, we have translated three posts only into Italian. To start creating the post translations, we need to switch the language back to our main language. WP Sheet Editor allows you to find all the posts that haven't been translated into specific languages. This step is optional but it's crucial if you don't want to end up with duplicate translations. Let's open the search tool. Now let's enable the advanced filters. In this field, we can select the languages for which the posts must be missing translations. In this case, we'll select Spanish and Italian. Finally, let's run the search. As you see, the spreadsheet displays all the posts missing translations in Spanish and Italian. This means that the plugin has excluded the posts that we already translated from the search results. After filtering the posts that haven't been translated into specific languages, we can start creating the translations for those languages. There are two ways to create them. First, we can do it using the spreadsheet. We just need to go to the WPML duplicate column and add the language codes here. We'll add ES and IT for Spanish and Italian. Once we're done, we can click on Save. This method is great, but we have a better option. Let's open the Bulk Edit tool. Select all the rows from the current search to be edited. Select WPML Duplicate as the field will update. Set value. And enter the language codes here. Finally, we just execute. As you can see here, there are no posts displayed in the spreadsheet, because no posts match the search filter we have applied. This happens because we changed the values, so let's remove the filter, and now our English posts are displayed. If we now switch to Italian, we'll see the translations created. The WPML columns allow us to view the post language, and the post to which this translation belongs. If we switch to Spanish, we'll see the translations created as well. Again, here's the post language, and the post to which these translations belong. It's important to change the translation relationship before editing the content of the translations. This is necessary because when you create the translations, the translation relationship assigned is duplicate from the main language, as you can see here. However, this will cause any changes applied to the main language to be also applied to the translation, and we don't want that. We need to change the translation relationship into translate separately to avoid duplicating the changes from the main language. There are two ways to edit the translation relationship. First, you can do it using the spreadsheet. Just go to the WPML Relationship column. Select Translate Separately. And click on Save to apply the changes once you have edited all the posts you want. The second option is to change the translation relationship in bulk. Just open the Bulk Edit tool. Select all the rows to be edited. Select the WPML Relationship field. Set Value. Translate Separately and execute. As you see, we have changed the translation relationship for all the Spanish post translations. 
you need to do the same with all the languages into which you translated your posts. Now that we've created the translations, we can start translating our posts using the spreadsheet. For example, let's change these 20 titles with a few clicks. Now let's translate our post's content using the Gutenberg editor as a pop-up in the spreadsheet. And you can continue translating every field that needs to be translated. Something important is that WP Sheet Editor is compatible with all popular SEO plugins. For instance, here's how the Yoast SEO columns look like in the spreadsheet. WP Sheet Editor creates the post translations as well as the taxonomy translations. You can now manage the categories and tags using the WP Sheet Editor Taxonomy Terms plugin. WP Sheet Editor boosts your productivity by allowing you to create and manage posts, pages and custom post types in an intuitive spreadsheet. You can make thousands of changes all in one place. You can purchase the plugin and read our written guide to this tutorial by following the links in the description of this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss other tutorials.